How to mint NFTs from Etherscan. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can mint NFTs directly from Etherscan contracts. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into it. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is come over to etherscan.io. Now, once you're over here, this is how the website looks like. And over here, as you can see, we have some addresses and then we have the contract names. Then we have the compilers, versions, balance, settings, verifications, verified, audited, and licenses. So as you can see, uh, the ones that don't have any licenses, it means that they are available. Those that have MITs, it means that they've been minted. Those that have none mean that they aren't available at this moment. So this is how it looks like. So how do you basically make a contract on Etherscan? Well, first you need to find your NFT. So let's just go over to OpenSeas. And once we're over here, let's go to the marketplace. Now, let's just assume that there's an NFT that is just about to launch. Now, which basically, which makes me remember why you should be doing this. Well, basically, what if there's a... What if there's a huge drop of NFT and you know that this NFT is going to be big and it's going to earn you a lot of money, but you know that as soon as it comes out, it's going to get sold out. So what you basically need to do is you have to find a way to directly contract the creator and make a contract with them. And you can do that by the Etherscan. So let's just assume that let's just take this NFT, for example. Let's just take this NFT. So if I click on this NFT, we can see that it's a pretty expensive one and we can see that it's going to be really, really big. But this is just an example. Like you don't have to do this like this. Like you have you can do it with the other creators that, you know, are going to be dropping some new NFTs. So what you have to do is once you find an NFT, let's just say it's this one. Uh, and we go all over to the owner. We go over to the creator section and let's just say that this is the one that they have. So what we need to do is we have to pick out an NFT from over there. Let's just assume that this creator is just has just is just about to launch a new pack and we want to get in on the action early. So what we can do is just simply choose one. And once that loads up, what you want to do is copy this ID over here uh right next to the assets backslash then you'll have these couple of numbers and then you'll have the amount what you want to do is just copy this letters this group of numbers and letters and what i want you guys to do is come back to etherscan and over here just simply paste it and search for it now once you search for it this is how it basically will look like so over here this is the contract overview so this is the person that has the right to the nfts and down below, you can see balance and the ether value, the name of the tags and stuff like that. And then down below, this is how the contract will look like. So these are all the transactions, but we don't need to go over there. We What we need to focus on is over here on the contract. And once we click on the contract, this is how it looks like. Now down below, these are the codes for the contract, basically the source code. Now, if you can read this and you can find out a more about this, you can go ahead and do your own research on it but we're just going to go ahead and skip this for now because this gets a little bit more complicated and then down below you have the contract abi and then down below you have the contract creation code basically if you know how to read uh, the binary language then you'll probably know how what this is all saying so it's very very uh, it, so it's very very encrypted stuff over here so this is how it looks like now this is the code section you can go ahead and read the contract by clicking on the read contract button and over here you can see we have some different numbers of levels so the first one is max supply over here over here you just simply have to enter in the value of the maximum supply that you want then you have the balance of you just simply have to enter in the owner address and the query and then basically the amount of balances then you have base URLs, folders, you have get price. Basically, these are all the contracts that you can create on this certain NFT. But since we're here to mint it, what I want you guys to do is focus on the minting part. So over here, find the number where there it says mint. It's over here. Uh, here we go. It's over here. Number 10, mint price. Now, this is the price of the minting. Over here, we can mint the prices. We can basically, we can read these contracts. Now, what we want to do is basically, we want to write a contract. And we can write a contract by clicking on the write contract button. Now, over here, focus on the mint part, as I said before. 
uh it's over here number four over here so what you want to do is you over here you will have two options you will have to pay the payable amount and then you want the quantity what that basically means is that you have to enter in the amount of the nft and then down below you want the quantity so let's just say that this nft is for 0 0.09 ethereum right so let's just go ahead and copy that and let's just multiply it by five so we get 0 0.45 so this is the price of five nfts of this of this wicked ape so we have to pay at least 0 0.45 so what you want to do is just simply add in 0 0.45 and then add in the quantity five and then just simply write now this is the one of the most important parts because if you mess up over here then your transaction will fail and you won't be able to complete the contract which is and then you'll have to do all of this process again which is kind of irritating sometimes so make sure you get the prices and, and the quantity right the first time and then what you want to do is just simply click on write and over here all you have to do is please connect uh to the web e3r now all you have to do is connect your ethereum wallet and you have to sign it into the main website so i'm gonna go ahead and sign in and i will catch you guys in a little bit so i have logged in right now and over here let's go back to the contracts write a contract and over here click on mint add in 0 0.5 and 5 and click on write please connect to your web provider now, I don't know why it's saying that. I think it's because my Ethernet, my mask isn't connected as of right now. Um, let me just go ahead and connect it. I think it's, I think we can connect it over here. But anyway, you get the general idea of how you can basically do it. All you have to do is just enter in the amount that you want. Enter in the quantity of the NFTs you want and enter in the full amount of the NFTs so you don't have to worry about anything. And then just simply click on write and then you'll basically we have a written contract. And then when that NFT releases, you'll basically have it in your uh, OpenSea's account that you have connected. So which is pretty cool. So it's like basically uh, pre-buying a item before it's even sold. So, you know, you have reserved, basically booked an NFT like that. So basically this is all. Just, so basically you can say that you're basically booking an NFT before it's even, you know, out yet. So that is it for this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and turn on post notification, guys. And also, if you have any questions related to this video, please let me know in the comment sections down below and I will be sure to answer them as soon as possible. So having said that, I will catch you guys in the next video and until then, take care and goodbye.